Welcome everyone. This is our class, Science, Technology, and Society, and I am Jomar Isan, your professor and fa or faculty in charge for the subject. And I hope that you will be enjoying the whole of the semester as we talk about STS. And for this course, we'll be dealing with definition of science, technology, also look at the interaction and the impact of science and technology with society and how society will also be impacting science technology. At the same time, the, in the coming parts, in the coming weeks, we'll also be discussing many of the issues that surround science, technology, and society. So I hope that you will be enjoying our study for this coming weeks for the whole of the semester. Now, as we begin with our first lecture, let me ask you a question. In 20, 50, or 100 years, what do you think the future will look like? So let me repeat the question. In 20, 50, or 100 years, what do you think the future will look like? So let me give you a few seconds to think about this. Now, if you were thinking the future will be very, very different from what we experience at present, then your answer is not far off. Well, there will be people who will say that the future would look like this. There will be a lot of flying cars, and this will become the norm of transportation. Some would say that the future might look like this, where robots will be prevalent and ubiquitous, used in every aspect of life in the whole world, and probably uh, they might have already taken over us. Another thought of what the future might look like is something like this, where interconnectivity, uh, the internet, the internet of all things, are deeply entrenched, deeply ingrained in all aspects of our lives so that every move that we make, we are interacting with computers or we are connected with the internet. So that might be what the future look like. Although at this point in time, it is very difficult to really imagine, to predict what the future holds. But one thing is for sure, science and technology will have a great, great impact on the direction and what kind of future we'll be having. This is one thing that we can be very, very sure of. So as we begin our discussion today, we will be talking about Unit 1, Introduction to Science and Technology. And we begin with the learning objectives. So these are what are expected of you. You are expected as students to discuss the interactions between science and technology and society throughout history. Secondly, you are also expected to discuss how scientific and technological developments affect society and the physical environment so as to enhance SNT positive impacts and to mitigate or lessen SNT adverse effect. In other words, we are expecting that you will be able to take note the effect of, of science and technology on society and the physical environment, and also take note of the positive impacts, the benefits of science and technology, as well as some ways to lessen the negative effects of science and technology. Now we proceed with a question that is very important for our time today. What is science, technology, and society? So we have to really take note of this. If we are going to define this, science and technology studies or science, technology, and society studies, both are the same, is the study of how society, politics, and culture affect scientific research and technological innovation and how this in turn affects society, politics, and culture. In other words, pa kung papaano ang lipunan, ang politika at kultura ay inaapektuhan ang scientific research, ang siyensya, kasama na rin ang technology, innovation, mga, mga pagbabagong ito. At sa ganun din, kung paano ang siyensya at ang teknolohiya, inaapektuhan naman ang lipunan, ang politika at ang kultura natin. Isang halimbawa rito ay itong pandemic na na-experience natin ngayon. Uh, in the first few, first few weeks, 
first few months of the COVID-19 pandemic, it was later shown that the virus is transmitted through sneezes, sa ubo, sa sipon, and now it has become a practice sa lipunan natin at nakasuot ng face mask at face shield, kaya ito ay inapektuhan at nagkaroon ng impact sa ating lipunan, even in our politics where it has been has become a, an instruction by the president himself and the government officials na kailangang sundin ang pagsusuot ng face mask sa face shield sa lahat ng pagkakataon, lalo na sa paglabas ng mga tao. So in this case, nagkaroon ngayon ng study na pag-aaral sa siyensya at nagkaroon ng karamtan na epekto ito sa lipunan, sa politika at saka sa kultura. Now, the question that is very important for us to answer right now is this question, is the study of STS important? Well, the answer will be yes. And the reason for that are as follows. Number one, one reason is because to understand how science, technology, social, cultural, and material elements influence the formation of new practices, new ways of understanding, and new institutions important in understanding our contemporary postmodern society. In other words, very important ang pag-aaral ng STS kasi ito ay nakaka-influensya at nakakatulong sa pagbuo ng bagong mga gawe bagong mga practices at bagong mga institusyon o pag-establish ng bagong institusyon. Now, one example that will uh, give evidence to this was an event that happened in 1847 somewhere in Austria. A person by the name of Dr. Samuel Weiss, who was the uh, more or less a director of a hospital there, one wing of the hospital are for mothers giving birth and there were two wards for this uh, for this uh, for this area one ward will be frequented by midwives and the other ward are is frequented by doctors interns and other academicians now one thing that was very disconcerting for for dr samuel weiss as a director is the fact that he observed that more of the women or more the pregnant women who go to the doctor's ward dies as compared to the pregnant women who go to the midwife's ward to give birth. And this is quite confusing because you would be expecting that at the hands of the doctors, at the hands of the interns who are who have studied medicine as compared to midwives, they would be giving more expert or their expertise in assisting the pregnant women to give birth. So you would be expecting that they would be more taken care of as compared to the ward where the midwives are working and they are not as they have not studied for medicine as compared to the doctors. So this is what Samuel, Dr. Samuel Weiss did. He made some observations, particularly the routines of the midwives and compared the routines of the doctors and interns. And this is the difference that he noticed. He noticed that since during the 1800s, doctors were very excited to learn a lot about the human body. So they were most of the times uh, at the morgue and they are doing their autopsy, he noticed that from the autopsy, they went straight towards the maternity ward to assist the mothers giving birth. This was the only uh, major difference that he observed between the midwives and the doctors. And because of this observation, he instituted some changes in the routine and he instructed the doctors and the interns that after doing their autopsy, they are to change their clothes, they have to wash their, their hands and body, and the instruments were also sterilized or put into boiling water. Now, after some time when the practice was institu instituted, he, they noticed that the number of patients or number of mothers in the doctors, in the maternity ward that is frequented by doctors have decreased mortality 
So the number of death also decreased, almost the same as that of the midwives. So this was very interesting. Now we can see here that because of the practices, it has now become standard that doctors clean, cleanse themselves, especially now that we know how they can bring about infections. So this practice has become standard in the hospitals. So we can see here that new practices was established just because of science and uh, scientific research. A second reason why we need to study STS is because new technology and knowledge is fundamental to gauge and to imagine the direction and what is the possible future. So, ang ibig sabihin nito ay kailangan uh, ang siyensya at ang teknolohiya ang kaalaman tungkol dito ay makakatulong para malaman natin ano ba ang direksyon ng ating kinabukasan, ano ba ang direksyon ng mundong ito in terms of what we call as the future. Now, one example is this is uh, in the military scenario, military area. Today, the military are employing different kinds of robots such as using remotely controlled spy planes. So instead of sending pilots on planes to observe and to spy on the airspace of enemies, they send remotely controlled spy planes. Also, robots have been used in sweeping areas of land for minefield. So what does the future hold? Well, it's possible that in the next coming future wars, instead of sending live flesh and blood soldiers in the battlefield, probably countries will be sending robots to fight their wars. So this can be one of the possible future because of the technology and the knowledge or science that are prevalent at present. Another example or other reason would be number three, the interaction between science and technology with society is very important field of inquiry, which not only leads us to understand not only their relevance, but also their limitation and the problems they create. So ang pag-aaral ng STS ay malaking tulong para maintindihan natin ang kahalagahan, ang limitasyon, at ang mga problema na, na pupuroduso na nangyayari dahil sa mga siyensya at teknolohiya na nade-develop na ito. Now, one example of this is the development of, the, of cloning technology that happened a few decades before. Cloning technology and its application in many areas of our lives. Now, in terms of its usage with animals and with plants, there are not much protest against the usage of cloning. We actually have been using cloning. Halimbawa, yung malunggay. Kung gusto mo magparami ng malunggay, pwede kang pumutol lang isang branch, tapos itanim mo ang branch na yan, and the branch would more likely grow into another tree. That is one type of cloning. Cloning has also been done, or is being done also with animals in order to produce or to increase uh, hybrids or to increase breeds that are very useful or have useful characteristics 